Texas A&M, science is marching forward with the help of a new foot soldier. She's called Amber Two. Are you staring at her stunning legs? For more than a decade, they've been refined by her proud father. I'm Aaron Ames, and I make robots walk just like us. Just like us, that's the key, because humans are incredibly efficient and adaptable. As soon as we crack the code on locomotion, it will open up endless doors in terms of what we can do. We can build exoskeletons to get people out of wheelchairs. We can build prosthesis. We can build orthotics. Today, Amber 2 is going to try something brand new, taking on obstacles. She's, she's our baby. We, we really do get attached to these. But then it's kind of like a proud father seeing, you know, their kids start to really act on their own. If they don't fix her growing pains, they won't be doing any tests at all. Yeah, oh, we have to stop her. That's what happens to robots. Sometimes things fall off. Lots of robots have legs, but that doesn't mean they truly walk like humans do. But despite the fact that this is more human-like in form, it's actually less amendable to locomotion in terms of its design. Because of the large feet and to keep them flat with the world, it has to crunch down and have very deeply bent knees in order to walk. So even though the structure looks somewhat human-like and cute, the actual legs of the robot themselves are not conducive to dynamic locomotion. And most humanoid robots are lousy at dealing with the unexpected. I don't think they've yet to capture the fundamental elements of locomotion. So that's a fundamental difference from this and a lot of existing robots. Walking seems simple, but that's because humans have perfected it over millions of years. So if you look at a person when they walk, they don't do something very static and balanced, which is rather inefficient, but rather they propel themselves forward. So walking is controlled falling. We push ourselves forward and we catch ourselves. After some quick hip surgery, Amber 2 is back to her old self under the watchful eye of dear old dad. Good job, girl. The long pole keeps her from falling to the side, but she has to learn how to balance herself. So underneath the surface of this relatively simple behavior are complex dynamics, complex mathematical models that have to synergize together to create the ultimately, apparently simple behavior. Despite all those complex mathematical models, sometimes all she needs is a little bit of encouragement. Come on, baby. Come on. You got it, girl. So if you look at when we take a step, we always come in and take a heel strike. We put our toe down and we push off with our back foot. Amber 2 can do the same thing. I think we gotta replace this chain too. Yeah, it's a chain link first. Right? If she doesn't clean up her act soon, Amber 2 won't get to play on the obstacle course. Uh, if only so, she was more like her older sister, causing... Amber 1. So here's the two board test. This is what makes and breaks robots. Even though she has no feet, Amber 1 can handle obstacles. And it will naturally just dynamically compensate for that based on a fundamental understanding of the walking. Her brain sets her apart. Here's what an MRI scan of Amber 1 would look like. They've basically reverse engineered the understanding of walking from a human brain and transplanted that into the mind of a robot. And as soon as you find that moment when the math and the robot do the same thing, it means you've learned something fundamental. Amber 2 has been tuned up and she's ready for her big test. Well, what we're gonna do is try to give the robot a disturbance and see how it responds to that disturbance. Uh, we've never actually done this before with a disturbance on this walking gait, so we don't yet know how it's going to act. Wasn't that bad. Needs a little bit more. Yes! Woo! She keeps going, taking on bigger obstacles. <laughs> Very impressive, actually. I, I didn't expect this. I thought it would fall under anything. And there it goes. Compared to the flat foot gait that we had running on this robot, this gait with heel toe behavior is much, much more robust with exactly the same hardware. 
which tells you something about why we do what we do as humans, right? Which is in the end what we're hoping to discover. There's just no better feeling in the world than seeing that math realized in reality. It's euphoric.